Hi one, welcome back to new videos. In this video, we're going to understand a uh, one more. I launched a new version of Angular 17 migration from Angular 16 to 17 migration. All right, so we're going to understand each and every step or every dependency upgrade which we can able to successfully migrate an Angular 16 working application to a Angular 17 application. So we're going to see every step from 16. 17 angular project or application migration all right so stick on with me and also uh, i got a lot of comments and a lot of doubts uh, in previous uh, videos of migration from and we started from angular 6 so now we are at angular 17 that's nice and thanks for all the support and if you have any questions please let me in the comment section and uh, you get a lot of details in description as well and what are the comments which we are going to use every command we are going to get in our description or in the pin comment all right so yes let's get start our migration and the first the first step what i need to show means i need to show the working application right i need to show the working application how it's working right now all right so now i'm going to the application work here all right so this is the application i have started the server with the command ng so this is the command and no error which says compiled successfully i'll show you the version of it so before that let me show the application over here this is the application so the same application which we are going to do the migration from 16 to uh, 17 all right so if i give an uh, uh, username and a password so okay let me give the password over here all right so this is going to be a password and we have logged in successfully which says login successfully a small alert and uh, i'm not going to save the password so this is how the application look like so a small e-commerce website which uh, a website which electronic components can be bought all right yeah so based on the category we can able to see the uh, products like i just clicked on the battery battery category we can able to see the battery products over here and if i go back uh, if i want to get the uh, let's say sensor the image is not showing probably there's some issue with the database data so um, uh, sensors uh, sensors temperature sensor ultron sensor gas sensor ir sensor so something like this if i go for led screen i don't know whether i have added okay i didn't have any product work here we go for motors so there are some data but it's not properly added but there is one servo motor which is this one for 150 rupees all right okay so here we have our application and uh, you can able to edit profile all the details over here that's all about it so let me log out work here all right the application is working fine and the application name is trigger so which i give the name and uh, now what i'm going to do oh uh, yeah i have already started the backend server that's how you can able to see all the data let's say uh, category image everything so it's none of the context which is related to this video but yeah so let's do our migration so first this is the source code of that angular application all right so uh, if i go to package.json which is our uh, we can say uh, oh i'm already in the package.json so let me zoom a little bit more a zoom oh yeah all right okay so if you see it's already in the 16th version okay i'll run the command to check the version of this so let me stop the server work here i'm stopping the server and the command which i'm going to use to check the version of an angular is ng version and click on enter all right so it will take some time not much take some time and yeah we are trying to get the version number work here let me bring this side. Mm, all right. Okay, if you see the version number, the version number, the version, the current application is 16.2.7. We're going to upgrade it to which one? 17, right? So we'll see step by step procedure. The first command which we are going to use is so here we have a uh, angular animation so that's the first dependency which we are going to upgrade it to 17 so let me give a command proper command work here all right 
So the command which we are going to use to upgrade the dependencies and also I'll give all the commands in the description as well. So yes, that's about it. And all right, the command which we are going to use to upgrade the angular animation dependency is, so let me go to the command from, just we need to enter this particular command. Okay, let me enter the command properly again. And the command is this one, npm i at angular slash animations at 17.2.2 and most of them also ask why this version so this is a version which is a very stable version less bugs something like this so that's why i've taken the specific version and upgrade to the specific version if i do directly npmi at angular slash animation obviously to go for the 17 but i don't want to install any uh, version which has some issues or bugs so I have chosen specific version, which is going to be a very stable version for an 17 version of Angular. All right. So let me click on enter what me and you should do right now. We need to wait until this gets completed. But uh, okay, so there's some issue over here. Okay, so since it's a new version and the uh, okay, before that, I need to show the node version which I'm using right now. The node version is 20. All right, so the, the node version is 20, which is the latest version. All right, so if the angular is not getting in or the animation dependence is not getting installed, direct means you can able to use the force, you can able to use force command to do the upgrade. So sometimes, uh, due to our system or the proxy test settings, it is not going to install, but yeah, I have added the force flag, I guess you can see. The dependency is getting downloaded uh, very easily and uh, it will take some time once this is done we can go ahead and install the next particular version if you if i show you the version animation it's been already installed but it's not completed installed it's not completed we need to wait until we'll get the proper message that it's been completed okay it's been completed work here see it's been completed i changed one package all right so let's install the next version is next version which we are going to use is let's go to our uh, visual studio code the next version we have is common or the dependency is common so let's go to our command prompt and this is the command which we need to use npm i at angular slash common at 17.2.2 and we'll add a flag called force so that we can able to do a force install to do this upgrade all right so we need to wait until this gets completed once this is done we can go for the next particular version the next version or the next dependency we have is the compiler when the common is done we'll go we can go for the compiler dependency installation all right or the upgrade we can say upgrade so here the common is getting uh, installed over here will take some time not much so let's wait until this gets completed all right cool as you can see the common dependency has been upgraded so now we are going to upgrade the compiler dependency and the command which we are going to use to upgrade the compiler dependency is very simple just we need to enter npm i at angular slash compiler 17.2.2 and we'll give the flag as well a force flag to upgrade it so it will take some time let's wait until this gets completed all right cool so the next dependency which we are going to upgrade is that is going to be uh let's check it the core all right so when the compile is done we are going to install the core dependencies so we'll go to our command prompt and let's see whether it gets completed or not okay it's still getting installed this will take some time and we need to wait until this gets completed all right okay let's wait for this as you can see here the dependency has been installed successfully so now we'll go over here now we are going to upgrade the core dependencies let's go to a command prompt and the command which we are going to use is npm i at angular what is my i i miss install okay at angular slash core at 17.2.2 so let's install this dependency and once this is done we are going to install the next one which is a forms all right so one core is done we are going to install the form dependencies all right cool as you can see here the form dependency has been upgraded oh sorry the core dependency has been upgraded but now we are going to install the form dependencies all right so just you need to enter this particular command 
npmi at angle of forms 17.2.2 and we'll give the flag as well for the forceful installation all right so let's wait until this gets completed once this is done uh in the dependencies we have a platform browser uh platform browser dynamic and uh, angular router so after this we have depth dependencies in depth dependencies we have four major dependencies over here which has been highlighted in the screen right now so these are the dependencies i have all right so let's wait the form dependency gets installed once this time we can go for platform browser all right so let me open the command prompt and let's wait until this gets completed all right cool as you can see here the font dependency installation has been completed so now we are going to install the next one which is let's let's check platform browser right so platform browser but the the form dependency has been upgraded to 17 version of angular right so let's go to our command prompt and the command which you need to enter is npm i at angular slash platform browser 17.2.2 and just click on enter let's wait this will take uh, a little bit more extra time let's wait until this gets completed once this is done we can go for platform browser dynamic which is our next dependencies all right good as you can see the platform browser dynam uh, dynamic has been installed so now we are going to install platform browser oh sorry platform browser has been installed. So now we have to install the platform browser dynamic dependencies the command which you need to enter is npm i at tangular platform browser dynamic 17.2.2 with the following flag all right so let's wait until this gets completed once this is done we can go ahead and do the next set of dependency upgrade which is going to be our router all right cool as you can see over here it shows compiled successfully right so the reason because i, I told you right i think i know the and uh, issue i understand the issue which means the issue was coming because of our typescript all right so the typescript uh, the compiler version is not getting supported so the, for that reason we were getting that error and it's been solved automatically all right so, but yeah i didn't get any issues while doing the migration i got the issue that we have fixed it which is related to typescript but when you got an issue just let me know in the comment section and also you will get details to get in touch with me uh, in the uh, description you'll get all the details for there and also uh, i opened an instagram page as well uh, which is related to our learning mighty and also i'm giving one opportunity to collaborate with me and uh, you can be a part of the learning mighty team all right so let's grow together and let's learn together all right so here the compile successful is done so just mean to test the application right so that's the one thing which is left right now okay let's test that quickly all right so let's go to my browser the uh, the server has been already started directly so let me give the port number directly localhost 4200 and uh, let me give the username and the password which i have showed you in the initial right so let's enter the username and the password so it's been logged in successfully all right cool so application loaded successfully and you'll get all the details work here let's check it sensors sensor temperature sensor ultrasound sensor gas sensor model and IR sensors as well all right so this is fine and if i go to the battery this tab is also working fine let's log out and the last step which we have is to check the version number initially the version number was angular 16 now let's see it has to be 17 without any issue so i'm going to stop the server over here and the command which i'm going to use is ng version so let me put it in the lowercase over here ng version and enter and here we are going to get the version of an angular all right so angular cli the version number will be yes angular 17.2.1 node as i showed you in the beginning as per node it is 20.9.0 which is the latest version of node and npm is 10.1.0 and all uh, it's been upgraded and typescript version is 5.3.3 all right so we have upgraded all the dependencies and our application is running at the latest version of angular with the latest version of node all right so that's all about in this video and uh, 
if you like this video if you are following from the first video of angular 6 migration to angular 17 version of my angular uh, migration means uh, what should i say is thank you and if you're new to our channel please do subscribe it and you're coming to our channel but you're not subscribing please do subscribe it so that that would be a can be a part of the learning my t family and please do like this video that's give my motivation to do upcoming uh, videos and i'll be very attentive to that for you guys all right so that's all about in this video let's meet your next video until then take care goodbye bye bye